All right. I built this app weekly calendar for ambitious minimalists. And in the last week, um, I have been promoting it and trying to make it better. So I was invited or this app was invited to be part of a hackathon where people um, learn about the repo. It's kind of published. And then I create tickets for them or issues. And I say, hey, this would be a good one to start. Uh, so I did that. All these ones that are like purple like that are, are part of that. And then people find them. They say, I want to do it. And then I'm like, okay, go ahead. Cool. <laughs> and I've had mixed success with this. Some people are active. We have gotten some PRs in. This is the kind of timeline. Uh, let's pull up the timeline here. Or no, I had a picture. One sec. Exciting times. No, lots of action. This is what it looked like on like the first day. I was like, holy cow, look at all these new contributors. They're going to help out so much. Um, however, most of these did not go anywhere. They flopped or they didn't do what they said they would do or they just went AWOL. Um, one guy just crushed it and got in right away. Uh, the others just couldn't even get set up. And I want to be careful here because they did find the app. They found the repo. They wanted to give me their time and they're willing to help. And I appreciate that. The, the harsh reality of, I think, high school labor is that just because you put in a lot of time and you had good intentions doesn't mean it's actually helpful. And that goes for me too. Just because I spent 260 some days in a row on this app doesn't mean users actually care about it or that it actually helps them with their lives. And so the sad reality of this is that uh, most of them weren't helpful and a few of them were. Next, I started using Codex um, and this was a one shot PR and it just worked. I wanted to add a new CLI command to invite people off the wait list. And man, it just, it just worked in uh, nine minutes. It worked for nine minutes. I went away and I did some other coding on a different issue. I came back and, and I tried it out locally and then I merged it. This is how junior development is going to go in the future. Like all, that's a perfect example. All those new contributors who say they're going to be great and um, just don't get back to me or don't do anything useful are going to be replaced by this. And I'm not, I'm not happy about that, but um, when I'm thinking about, okay, what am I going to do to help me add a simple task like this? I'm going to Codex in the future. We did get some interesting PRs in um, that are that are useful. I want to show you this one. Um, I'm uploading seven gigs of video, so my internet's a little slow, but here we go. This is uh, the first part of uh, dragging between these lists. Yeah, it's lagging a bit. Take my word for it. You can drag from here to there. Client side, we need to figure out how to do this and persist the order um, as part of the API, but this was a good start. I think this will be a really cool feature. We're going to add shortcuts to this afterwards, and it's just going to make it that much easier to schedule and plan your day. Next, I've uh, been working on some strategy for just how to generate demand. One was to create this challenge um, for developers, 15-day challenge where you post updates like this, and you're with other developers, you work together, you kind of encourage your, each other, and then there's a demo day at the end. And this is kind of implementing some of the workflow ideas I've had um, and that I might build into the app and prototyping it while also giving people the chance to connect and um, to, to help each other. So I created this thing. I did this in the past and it went really well. However, at this time, I tried to promote it to just new people and have them send me their email and then I would ask for a deposit. And it just didn't work for the initial amount of effort I put into it. So I, I initially reached out to some people and things went well, but then I was like, I need to get strangers to prove that this works. So I was like, let me create a Reddit ad. <laughs> and I'm actually pretty proud of this. This was, you know, help with uh, chat GPT, but I feel like that's a cool concept. Um, this was me make, remaking it by hand because the text was, was out of the border and it wasn't the right size again with just different colors. However, they rejected this one, and then I made a new one that was kind of simple, and I got a lot of impressions, but then very few people clicked, and then very few people converted, and I was like, okay, um, that's enough. I'm just going to move on. So right now, this is still running, but I'm doing it on like a once it's, once it's at capacity, then we'll do it 
I'm not pushing for it like in the next week like I was initially. So you can still go to this page in the link and put your email here. And then once I think 10 people sign up, then we'll actually do it and it'll be really fun. Next, um, I have been working through the wait list and then I found this guy. Um, I thought his name was Gary at first. I was like, oh, Gary, he probably just misspelled his name during the, the wait list sign up. And then I saw the last um, name was F-A-G, and I saw the email was from Letter Protect, which is a fake email um, service. And you know what? You're going to come to my app. You're going to come to my app, fill out my wait list, and then do this. I feel like Jordan, baby. I feel like Jordan right now. Okay. Okay. This is all I need. This is all I need, Gary. Watch. Watch. <laughs> 